In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix rhomboid pain for good. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to focus on fixing a tight and achy rhomboid muscle, a big instigator of upper back and shoulder blade pain. When this muscle becomes irritated and strained, you tend to get a lot of pain below the neck, throughout the upper back, and then off to the sides into the shoulder blades. It usually comes about from tightness and weakness in the rhomboid muscle. So to make this easy, I'm going to break this video up into two separate parts. In the first part, we're going to focus on tackling tightness by lengthening the muscle through great stretching exercises. In the second part, we're going to strengthen the muscle, build more stability, improve posture, take tension and stress off the muscle to hopefully get long-lasting pain relief. As a bonus, all of these exercises can be done at home. They require no equipment and you may find give quick rhomboid pain relief even in as little as 30 seconds. So let's get started and fix that rhomboid pain for good right now. In this part, we're going to focus on getting quick rhomboid muscle pain relief by lengthening the muscle that is reducing tension and strain on it. And I'm going to do a very easy exercise that you can pretty much do anywhere. All we need is a door frame. So it's a two part movement. And the first part, what I'm going to do is kind of put my feet close to the door frame right here. Take one arm that is on the other side of the door frame, grab right into it for a stable anchor point. Just really hook your fingers into it. I'm going to put my feet together and then I'm going to use my body weight to lean away from that door frame. I want to keep leaning away until I start to feel a very good stretch right off to the side right here of those shoulder blades. What I'm going to do from there is take my other hand, put it below this arm right here, and then rotate my body away from the door frame. Go as far as you can. So we're leaning and then rotating away. You'll start to feel a deep stretch into that rhomboid muscle across that shoulder blade. It feels really good. I try to hold this one for about 20 to 30 seconds. Just do nice, low controlled breathing also. Let the tension out. And from there, you're just going to relax. On the next repetition, try to build into it even more. Try to do this for two to three repetitions on both sides. From there, we're going to take it to the next level by hitting the rhomboids and the shoulder blades just a little bit differently. So face the door frame, put your toes right up against it. I'm going to crisscross my arms like this where my thumbs are going to be pointing down and I'm going to grip right into that door frame. From here, I'm going to place my hands roughly about chest level. Tuck your chin towards your chest and the movement from here is easy. We're going to just allow our body weight to go backward like this, kind of like taking my butt away and down from the floor. Keep going down until you start to feel a very good stretch in between the shoulder blades. I really feel it. It feels really, really good. I try to hold this one right here for 20 to 30 seconds. Again, trying to do nice, slow, controlled breathing. From there, I'm just going to relax. On the next repetition, I try to stretch into it even more. You can repeat this three times. You can also experiment with different placements of your hands. So put them more towards your head level and then repeat this. You're going to notice that it hits the muscles just a little bit differently. So go all the way up, go all the way down. If you feel like one certain position just hits that spot a little bit better, at that point, throw more repetitions in. So here's a great upper back and shoulder blade opener that you can do at the edge of a bed or a chair, depending on your height. We're going to start off on our knees, so make sure to put a pillow or towel underneath them for extra comfort. I'm going to go over four different dynamic movements that are going to effectively target the rhomboid and just hit it at different positions so you'll be able to lengthen that muscle much more efficiently than just a one-dimensional static stretch. So what I'm going to do is bend my arms, put the back side of my arms flat on that surface. My hands are going to go right on my uh, shoulders just like this. Let's tuck our chin towards our chest. The first movement, I'm going to do a decompression traction exercise. This is a pulling motion to help open up the upper back and take pressure off the muscles and the spine. So I'm just going to lower my whole body, kind of like taking my butt down towards my heels. The more that we do this, the more that you're going to feel a great stretch in the upper back in between the shoulder blades. 
go down as far as you can. Once you hit a deep but comfortable stretch, you want to hold this one for 20 to 30 seconds. Just do nice, slow, controlled breathing also. Let that tension out. From here, we're going to take it to the next level by putting in a cat-cow movement. So this one, I'm going to kind of like suck my stomach upwards like this, tighten my core, and then round my upper back towards the ceiling. You'll feel the muscles get hit just a little bit differently. I like to hold this one right here for about three to five seconds, and then I'm going to go in reverse, allowing my stomach to relax, go down towards the floor, and also let my chest go towards the edge of that chair or the bed. When you do this, you'll just notice that, the, again, the muscles get hit a little bit differently. Three to five second hold. And then I want to do a nice fluid motion of this right here for about three to five complete repetitions. From there, we're going to focus on thoracic rotation to build mobility. So I'm going to keep one arm flat on here, but the other one is going to raise up, and I'm going to rotate my body, my whole back, arm, and head upward towards the ceiling. Go up as far as you can. You're really going to feel the shoulder blade muscles, including that rhomboid, start to fire. Hold this one for about five seconds. From there, you're just going to relax and then repeat it on the other side. The last movement we're going to do is called threading the needle. It's also a rotational movement that hits the muscles just a little bit differently. So take one arm off, bend the elbow roughly at 90 degrees, and then turn your body in the opposite direction. So my right arm is reaching all the way towards my left. Once you feel a deep stretch, hold this one for five seconds. Come back, relax, and then repeat it on the other side. But try to do this whole complete cycle for about three to five repetitions. And with each repetition, try to build into it just a little bit more. If you want to get rid of rhomboid muscle pain for good, you have to strengthen everything in and around the shoulder blades. This will help build stability, improve posture, taking tension and stress off the rhomboids. So what I'm going to do is start off with a very easy exercise. This is known as a scapular push-up. It's kind of like a push-up, but we're just going to move through our shoulder blades. So I'm going to start off on a floor just like this. My forearms are going to support my upper body weight. I put my hands together like this, have my forearms in a V shape. You might want to put a towel or a pillow underneath your arms too for extra comfort. So I'm going to show the beginner's position and then show a little bit more challenging one after that. So just kind of bend your knees, put your body up like this, like you're going to do a push up. But what I'm going to do is pinch my shoulder blades and allow my chest to go down towards the floor. Try to allow the chest to go down as much as you can, really pinching those shoulder blades to activate those muscles. When you feel that, try to hold this one right here for about five seconds. Now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to lift up on the chest and also the upper back towards the ceiling. This will open up the shoulder blades this time around, hitting the muscles just a little bit differently. Again, try to hold this one for about five seconds. From there, you're just going to relax, take a breather, and try to do this one right here if you're able to for about 10 repetitions. And with each repetition, really try to build into it and move through those shoulder blades. If you want to make this one more challenging, just go into a push-up position. You'll have a lot more muscles at that point starting to fire, including the core muscles, and it's just a little bit more challenging. If you want to take this one to the next level, we can do what is known as a dolphin press. This one really helps build stability into the shoulder blades and the shoulders. So what I'm going to do is get into this position right here kind of like a plank and just kind of walk my legs like this. Again, I'm supporting my body weight on my forearms. Let's tuck our chin towards our chest. The movement is pretty easy. What I'm trying to do is drop my head towards the floor and lift my butt up towards the ceiling at the same time. When you do this, you'll feel a ton of muscles fire across the upper back, shoulder blades, and off to the side. I try to hold this one for about five seconds. I'm just going to relax, and then I'm going to repeat this one, if I'm able to, for about 10 to 15 repetitions. Again, with each repetition, try to build into it just a little bit more. My muscles are really firing on this one. But if you feel like you have a little bit more energy, just throw in another set or two. Here's a rhomboid muscle strengthening exercise that you can do throughout the day. It's not only good for getting quick pain relief, but it will also help upper back posture. We just need a smooth wall or a door. I'm going to put my whole backside flush against it. My feet are going to be angled out in front of me. Let's have our legs roughly hip width apart. Put all of your body weight on your heels during this exercise. So what I'm going to do is just squat down a little bit until I feel my leg muscles engage and all 
also my glutes. I'm also going to try to tighten my core just a little bit. The first movement is known as the shoulder blade lift off. I'm going to bend my elbows at 90 degrees, put them off to my side, press them into the door. The movement is pressing with our arm strength into the door to lift our body forward. So we're not trying to round our back with this one. When you do this, lift your chest forward, pinch your shoulder blades in the back. You'll feel a ton fire, including into the chest muscles in between the shoulder blades. I try to hold this one comfortably for about five seconds. From there, I'm just going to relax, take a breather. I try to repeat this one up to 10 times. And with each repetition, try to build into it just a little bit more. Always challenge those muscles. What we can do to take this one to the next level is a postural exercise called a wall angel. Really helps open up a tight chest. So I'm going to get back into my original position right here. I'm going to bend my elbows at 90 degrees, take them straight back towards the wall. From there, I'm going to turn my hands up towards the ceiling. If you have a lot of chest tightness, you'll probably find that you can't get your elbows all the way back. Just wing them back as much as you can during this exercise. And hopefully through repetition, you'll gain more flexibility. But you're just going to wing your elbows back as much as you can until you feel the chest activate and you're really trying to pinch those shoulder blades in the back. You're going to raise your hands up slowly towards the ceiling. When you can't go any further, hold this right here for a couple seconds. From there, you're going to slowly come back down. From there, you can take a breather. On the next repetition, try to build into it more. Wing those elbows back, go up, and hold that for a couple seconds. You can do this for 10 to 15 repetitions. Here's a strengthening exercise that you can do right in bed. I call this one the shoulder blade pump. It's going to focus on dynamic movements to really target the rhomboid and other muscles that help support the upper back and shoulder blades. Start off lying on your stomach right at the edge of a bed. What I'm going to do is a head retraction. That is just taking the back of my head upward towards the ceiling, so I'm not trying to round it backward or forward like this. You should feel a gentle activation of the neck muscles going into the upper back. From there, what I'm going to do is scoot forward until my shoulders are off the edge of that bed. Have your arms straight off to your side, palms up towards the ceiling. We're going to do a pumping motion. So we're going to just keep our arms straight and then pump our hands upwards towards the ceiling as much as you can. You want to hold this for about a second, then you're just going to relax. And then you're going to repeat this pumping motion right here for about five to 10 repetitions, really focusing on feeling those muscles engage in the upper back. From there, we're going to attack it at a different angle. So go right off to your side like this, roughly about 45 degrees. This time around, the palms are going to be down towards the floor. And again, I'm going to repeat this process. You'll notice that the muscles just get hit a little bit differently. From there, I'm going to go right in front of me arms angled off to my side, and then I'm going to repeat this one. From there, I'm going to go into what is known as an angel. So I'm going to bend my elbows roughly at 90 degrees, wing my elbows up towards the ceiling as much as we can, and then straighten our arms out in front of us. Hold this position right here for about a second or two, and then slowly come back and try to do this one right here for about five repetitions. From there, just go in reverse and repeat. You can do this whole cycle right here for three to five complete repetitions. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching.